How's it going guys, it's Mr Lone Wolf and uh, today I'm going to go and have a little play around with this thing and uh, also do a quick mission with it. Uh, yeah, it's called what, the Z42 something something. It's, yeah, I think it's based off like the Mercedes Albatross. <laughs> well, it's called the Actros or something. Something like that, I didn't really pay too much attention. Mercedes Albatross, that's what we'll call it. Um, yeah, we're driving along, like having a little test with it. The good point is it's got a sliding rollback thing, which is pretty cool. I didn't even realise it had that. Um, yeah, the only thing when I was driving it, I've got it fully set up, got the top engine in it, and all the rest of it. I believe the power to weight is all the way up to the top. But you can see now, there's just like... It feels like something extra slowing it down. I've noticed this with a couple of other trucks as well, some of the trucks in the base game. And uh, yeah, you can see now, considering it's only got a rollback on it, um, I got the high range gearbox, so I've got eight gears. It just can't even really get anywhere near the top gears or anything as I was going up that hill it was struggling when I got nearer to the top I pretty much had to drop back down to I don't know first or second or something and uh, well I think in the end just before I stuck it in high and it just about wound up to high it's uh yeah it's kind of iffy to explain it just feels like as if it's got an invisible anchor kind of holding it back a little bit like if you imagine you were towing an invisible trailer sort of got that kind of feel to it but at the same time I tried a few other things with it like I said I'm only having a quick play around on the Proving Grounds I'm going to go to Black River and uh, I can't remember what it's called like Drowned Truck Rescue or something there's a Drowned Truck near it's a pretty simple easy mission um, yeah you can see now I went back to the garage took the roll back off and when I floored it there like it had plenty of power did like a nice uh, big drift or anything pretty cool that it didn't tip as well the tyres the original ones I was using were called like the chained soft version I believe now I might have gone to the, oh no, sorry, right now I removed the rollback and then a little later I tested it with other tyres. I mean, it's a little better without the rollback going up here, but still, you can sort of tell it's just not, it's one of those trucks that after a while will give me sort of that impatient feeling like I just want it to be going, it's not even necessarily faster, it's just, I don't know, kind of powering its way through its power band a bit more convincingly. <laughs> um, the only one thing I can sort of think to explain it is if any of you ever noticed on Smithfield Dam, when you drive across the dam, there's like some invisible resistance that holds you back, and I mentioned it ages ago in a video that it's almost as if when you drive across the dam, it's still registering as if you're driving through water, so it's kind of, uh, yeah, like an extra resistance as you're driving through it, it's like, like you're driving through water and it's holding you back. That's sort of what this felt like to a degree in some situations, but... Or, yeah, maybe, like, I mean, I've mentioned that sort of clutch-slipping feeling kind of going on before. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to put a finger on it, but there's just something that feels a little bit, like, re over-restrictive with it, and I can't, yeah, quite work out. But you'll, you'll see now, like, when I put the power down, I'm barely even moving, like, it... You can hear the engine and everything going, which I don't always think engine rev sounds and all the rest of it actually match with what's going on. I noticed that a little while back with the uh, Azov John. It was sounding like it was revving flat out and I was barely over a thousand revs or something. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of like the main sort of thing that I kept noticing with it really. In other ways, it, I do like it in some ways. Uh, I definitely like the fact that it's got a rollback. That black metal box you can see, like just in front of the two rear axles, that's a toolbox that's uh, got repair points and stuff with it, which is pretty cool. It's got a very tall snorkel on it, but to be fair, when I cut through that river, well, it was pretty slow through the river, but it did actually make its way through. Um, this is the mission I'm going to go and do on Black River, called uh, Drowned Highway Truck. I've got to go and grab, I think it's a GMC 9500 that's kind of, uh, yeah, abandoned or whatever, in a swamp. I've got to go and pick it up. And I knew it'd probably be a little bit big. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but uh, I'm taking the roll back. I wanted to see if I can, uh, yeah, fit the M9500 on, but just in general, really, just an excuse to go and test this thing out and the roll back see there like just as I drift around the corner it's like almost all your power's gone and you just kind of like where where is it especially if it's got full power to weight ratio and again you'll see as I cut back through here get to the top of the hill the terrain resistance stats do go up quite a bit though it does slow other trucks down but again not to the point where I basically went down to first like in the end I just stuck it in high and kind of picked up a bit of speed see there where I started to drift sideways but I wasn't drifting then it was like 
the front is hitting, as I said, imagine, imagine if there was like kind of water just floating everywhere in the air and as you're crashing into it with the front that's kind of catching your front but your back end's still free and, you, and then because of that your back end you sort of start to skid and it tries to overtake you and it's all it's sort of that that's about the only way I can explain it really and uh, like I say apart from that it was a pretty nice truck I sort of noticed as well once I actually got stuck into just doing things like this and not really driving it around just paying attention to how it's behaving it yeah it kind of blended off into the background a bit it wasn't as noticeable once I was doing various things once you're off-roading and all that it doesn't feel as obvious so yeah I mean I don't want to be overly harsh on it because overall it is a pretty nice truck to drive got some good attachments you can still go and do what you're going to do with it I appreciate I, at the minute particularly I kind of lean on the uh, I like the faster things in the game at the minute with the mods just because I've been forced to go slow really for the last eight nine months how long this game has been out um, so yeah, to have something that kind of you can put your foot down and feel the power kick in is pretty nice at the minute. And yeah, this thing's just not quite uh, ticking that box for me. But as I said, in the long run, I could certainly see me using it on a few of the missions. But it certainly wouldn't be my go-to. I still think the normal wrecker and the heavy wrecker I much prefer over this in terms of like other trucks that have got a rollback. And um, yeah, trying to stick this thing on, it's not really this rollback's fault or anything, but it was about as wide as the rollback anyway. And then as I'm attaching a winch, because the winch points are only like on either side of the GMC really, not there's no middle winch point. Whichever one I pulled it from, it just kind of slightly twisted it to the side and one wheel kept, yeah, skipping over the side basically. I cut a few bits out whereas I'm in a few little attempts, but in the end this was about as, uh, as good as it was going to get. But at least in uh, good news, considering the GMC's clearly a bit too big for the rollback, it had no issues lifting and all that, which, uh, I've, I mean, I mentioned it with the other, uh, the heavy wrecker with the rollback. Yeah, I'm glad modders have added the rollbacks, <laughs> because I think SnowRunner would just, somehow, I don't know, they'd have to make it so it doesn't quite work nicely. Like, it'd be struggling like hell to lift a truck, something, they'd just find a way that it has to have that limitation. A bit like they did with, say, the Bandit, for example. Everything about it has kind of sounded like it'd be good. It'd probably be a pretty good competitor to stuff like the Dolphin. And then, yeah, the end product is you get it, and it sort of feels like it was, at some point, a pretty decent truck. And then, for whatever reason, they just had to nerf various different aspects of it until it was like a, yeah, kind of average truck. Like, it can tip fairly easily. It's a pain in the ass to get back to its wheels. Uh, the Certainly the custom mud grip is pretty horrific on it, the turning circle's terrible on it, the fuel's really low on it, but yeah, there's all just little arbitrary things that they kind of adjusted to make it crap when it didn't really need to be. Um, yeah, anyway, I got to about here, kind of probably shouldn't have <laughs> released the winch. What I wanted to do was just line it up on the road and uh, see if I could actually get it neatly onto the rollback. I only just left this bit in. I'm going to kind of cut ahead a little bit, but uh, it did actually flip this thing no real issues. Uh, yeah, made me tonight. The reason I'm just doing this and it's not really a re very long video or anything, uh, I'd like to do some live streaming soon, but I've just kind of been prepping my maps for... Yeah, like, it's just one of these... I've not really collected a lot of missions on the new playthroughs and all sorts, and uh, what I didn't want to do was, like, start a live stream and then spend the first hour or two of that just floating around, not really doing much of anything, kind of just driving over to missions to collect them and accept them so I can actually... Uh, yeah, choose them when I want, and yeah, just all bits and bobs like that, so I'm kind of sorting them out, so at least when I do do a live stream, there is actually a little selection of missions, and I don't have to do too much faffing around. Um, yeah, when I got White Valley, I didn't unlock the entrance to the back to North Port in the end, but I unlocked the garage and everything, so I can actually travel to White Valley now. Um, yeah, I tried again, it just, same thing, it kept tipping off to the side. I did have the winch attached there, for some reason, just, like, muscle memory. <laughs> I cocked it up and I uh, I hit the winch again, let go of it, yeah. After that I was like, oh hell no, <laughs> you're just getting winched to the farm now. That'll do. And yeah, even now it's like... What makes me think it feels like something invisible is holding it back rather than lack of power and everything, is it feels kind of similar now I'm towing this. It's not like it's completely tapping out, it's just not building up the speed or anything. Uh, yeah, that's that mission done. I mean, it doesn't pay out a lot, but to be fair, it was pretty, 
pretty piss easy. Uh, of course, I had to get a goddamn professional, just make sure the rollback was working as intended. And yeah, again, there's no issues flipping it back up. It's a tad slow, the rollback. I mean, again, I'm not really... That's just sort of nitpicking by now, but... I like to uh, get it up in a timely fashion. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely what she said. So yeah, life's on. No issues. And again, while driving along, I mean, this is why I think there's good things about it. I was kind of drifting around a little bit now, seeing how easy it would want to tip. And uh, in a way, like it's good as far as balancing goes, the tyres kind of let go grip-wise before it tips. So rather than tip, kind of do more of a drift. Again, oh, sorry, there was a glitch there. It all went well, though. <laughs> I just drove out of the garage. Uh, even cutting through this mud, that's what I mean, where... Considering how slow and held back it felt on, say, something like pavement, when you get to somewhere like this, it's... Like no different if anything it's yeah it's motoring along pretty nicely now and there seems to be enough grip that it's actually clawing through the mud there's enough weight to the actual truck itself that it feels pretty planted on the ground so yeah I'm not too sure with that like I said I won't fully hold it against it because overall it is a pretty nice truck and it is just my uh, kind of play style at the minute but I thought I'd mention it though because yeah that's what I found so, just went for a quick test. The reason I wanted to go and ram these trees over, <laughs> other than the fact that I enjoy doing it, is, uh, yeah, I wanted to see, like, how much torque has it kind of got. I don't know if they particularly differentiate between, like, horsepower and torque in this game, but the fact that it was being held back, it felt, I just wanted to see if it was more coming from, like, lack of power being kicked in or if it was something else. And from the fact that it actually smashed all them trees, apologies, because it glitched in the last two trees, but I'm going to go and smash this line down. Um, yeah, it kind of stayed in that relatively slow mode, but it kept its pace in the high pretty well, and due to the fact that it weighs more than a piece of paper, uh, it was able to knock the trees down and carry on, so yeah, power-wise and grip-wise and weight-wise, it's all there, there's just something sort of behind the scenes that feels like it's restricting it, but I even went this way in auto, and even though it was pretty bloody slow, I was pleasantly surprised, but surprised that it didn't choke on any of them. <laughs> I won't even say it. But yeah, like I said, there's no lack of it sort of kicking in the power to a degree. It's just, I mean, that's probably the best way to explain it. It's like you're towing an invisible trailer, like there's some kind of hidden extra weight going on that doesn't explain it sort of thing. I know the rollback does add a bit of weight because I did test it with and without, but not enough to justify what it's doing. But apart from that, overall, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, probably worth giving a try. I mean, if you don't like it, just go back and unsubscribe. That's about it for today though, I hope you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.